Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you what my 10 month old eat in a day. Um, just a quick disclaimer, this is just uh, what works with my family and what works with my son. I'm not a nutritionist or anything like that. Um, I This is our daily routine when it comes to meals. Of course, obviously, every day varies, but most of the time this what happens in our daily meal. Are you sleepy? He's, he's about to go for a nap. Um, I also have a version of this when he was seven months old. I will link that down below about what my seven months old eats in a day. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. So we're going to be starting our day with a veggie omelette. I am chopping up some mushrooms and spinach and I mostly cook our foods with coconut oil. And Blake eats fruits every time he finishes up with his meal and for breakfast we're having cherries I never give cherries whole because I am just so scared that he's just gonna swallow a whole cherry so I normally would cut this up in quarters quick tip I normally do not give Blake his fruits during his meal or before his meal because if I do this he will see his fruits and he is not gonna want to eat his main course he will just focus on the fruits he's obsessed with fruits right now so um, I normally would let him eat his main course first before I even show him that he's got fruits coming up because if I do this he will not even touch his main meal and then he will just eat the fruits until he's full We're ending up our morning with some breast milk and he is ready to go down for his morning nap. And when Blake wakes up from his nap, it's usually around lunchtime and today we're going to be frying up some sprouted tofu and steam some broccoli. 
And with tofu, I normally would dry it up a little bit. I would sometimes squeeze it in a paper towel to soak up some liquid before I put it in a fryer. And after lunch, Blake is going to have some grapes and with grapes, is a b it's a big no-no for me to give it to him as whole. I chop it up in quarters because grapes is a number one choking hazard when it comes to fruits. And here's my broccoli and tofu fried up in a little bit of coconut oil and chopped up in little quarters. And with the rest of the tofu, I would put this up in a little glass container and save it up for his lunch for tomorrow. And with tofu, I would put a little bit of liquid aminos or sometimes soy sauce to give it a little bit of flavor. And I'm pairing this meal up with um, a little bit of pre-fried black beans from our meal last night. Hand washing prior to eating your meals is a major routine that we religiously follow in our household. I believe that this is a good routine to instill to your kids while they are still very young.
you guys are brand new to my channel, thank you for coming and thank you for watching my video. I am a brand new mama, Blake is our very first little baby boy and we are absolutely having the greatest time of our lives raising him. I am documenting his younghood or um, babyhood hoping that we can help some moms out there that's in the same shoes as I am raising their first child. I have no clue what I'm doing. I just learn as I go and I, I just love this documentation that YouTube provides. I know when he gets a little bigger, I know I'm going to have a great time watching back these videos. just like that it's dinner time where did the day go <laughs> and for dinner time I'm gonna be frying up some wild-caught salmon in coconut oil as usual and with salmon I don't normally seasoning season it because it's so packed with flavor it doesn't have to be seasoned by itself especially when I'm giving it to Blake I don't have to season it he loves salmon he absolutely is obsessed with salmon and I'm pairing this up with brown rice with some broccoli and some mangoes for dessert If you are new to my channel, please find me also on Instagram. My handle is Suzette Fairbank and I will be happy to have you there as well. This boy is absolutely obsessed with salmon. He just loves it. And I normally would give him a second serving of it because he's just, he can't get enough of it.
this day with breast milk right before he goes to bed. Normally, he would fall asleep while I give him breast milk at night, and that will be the end of our day. So there you have it. Now you've seen what my 10-month-old eat in a day. Again, thank you for watching, and I really, really appreciate you being here. See you next time. Thank you.